I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video we will understand how to estimate square root of a number. Square of a whole number is said to be a perfect square. For example, 7 squared is 49, right? So square root of 49 is 7. So that is a perfect square. Explain how can you find square root of a number such as 10 which is not a perfect square. So if you have a number which is not a perfect square, then finding its square root results into decimal numbers, right? So, so that means we are looking into decimal numbers. Now, let us see how to find square root of 10. So that is what we need to find. To begin with, we'll see what numbers are close to 10? Whose square is close to 10? As you know, 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16. Now 9 is close to 10. We know square root of 9 is 3. And so square root of 16 is, is 4. Now 10 is very close to 9, right? So we can try what is square of 3.1, 3.1, and then check. So let us check, 3.1 squared is how much? So we have 3.1 times 3.1, that means square, right? Equals to 9.61, we get 9.61. Now 9.61 is close to 10, but still far away. So we can now try what is 3.2 squared. Now 3.2 squared means Let's do it. Uh, 3.2 times 3.2 equals to 10.24. Now 3.2 squared is slightly more than 10. So we can try a value which is between 3.1 and 3.2. So let's try 3.15 squared. So that is 3.15 times 3.15 equals to it is 9.925225, right? Now that is slightly less than 10, so we can go a bit higher. Let me try 3.16 square. 3.16 times 3.16 equals to 9.98. Now 9.98 is very close to 10. So you could say approximately 3.16. If you want to go closer, you can try 3.161 square, right? 3.161 times 3.161 equals to 9.991. So that seems to be fairly good approximation, right? So likewise, we can estimate square root of a number and we say, well, square root of 10 is approximately, we write like this, approximately equal to 3.161. Of course, in such a calculator, you could find a very close value straight away. 10 square root is 3.1622. So we know uh, square root of 10 could be found as equals to 3.1622. Anyway, the idea of this video was to teach you how to estimate square root of a number which is not a perfect square. So the idea is find closest perfect squares, right, which is 9 and 16 in this case. And then since 9 is closer to 10, we start with 3.1 and increase the value. If you get higher than 10, then you find a value which is slightly lower. So that is the way you can estimate fairly accurately the square root of a number which is not a perfect square. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.